Hey guys, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. In today's video, just want to give you a couple tips you can use for your spring cleaning to reduce numbers of pests around your home. One of the main reasons why pests will try and get into your home is there's a major temperature change or a season change and that's going to drive them to change locations from wherever they're at so if you can focus on a couple different spring cleaning activities if you haven't done them already this can really help to reduce the pest activity in and around your home so the first thing that you want to tackle is stuff that's in your yard so lawn care activities one thing that sometimes people kind of leave and don't really actually do um, in the fall is pick up all their leaves around their yard. And this can actually be a great harborage point for pests. And basically what that means is a, a hiding spot for them or a place they like to live. And so what happens, various pests will live underneath leaf piles. So that could be ticks, it could be termites, um, rodents, all kinds of different stuff like to live on and hang out there. So if you can be sure to clean those up if you didn't have time to do it you know, before the first snow in the fall, it's a great time to do that. Another thing you want to focus on is going to be mowing your lawn and keeping that trimmed and short. A lot of different pests like to hang out in tall grasses. Some of the most common ones are going to be ticks and fleas. So this is really especially important if you have pets because again, ticks can get on them even in your own yard. So keeping that grass trimmed is a great way to keep pests out of your home and your family safe away from things like ticks and fleas and more. The next thing that you want to do is focus on different uh, vegetation or plant life or different things, debris that could be touching your home. One thing to keep in mind is that pests will hang out, you know, where they live, right on plants and trees, around garbages, wood piles, different things like that. And if those are touching your home, it just gives them easier access to get inside. So make sure you trim things like tree branches that might be leaning over your home or touching your home. Or again, if you have stacks of wood piles, just make sure they're not directly touching your home. Again, maybe you put it in the backyard or the garage, different things like that where it's not easily accessed to your home directly. Especially if you have different plants around your home, just again, leaves or flowers, different things like that touching your home can create a great access point for pests to get inside. Now, when we transition more into the inside of your home, it, it comes down to keeping things clean. Uh, so things like cleaning your kitchen, countertops, and taking out the trash. Now, one thing that a lot of people make the mistake of is they have you know, garbage cans in their home, which is great, but they don't have a cover on them. So when you basically leave your trash out in the open or there's not a cover on it, it's almost like inviting pests to an all-you-can-eat buffet, right? Or again, maybe you take the trash out, but you don't put the lid down on your garbage can and you don't really make do a great job of sealing those garbage bags. And again, that's just easy access for pests. You're going to attract different things from flies to roaches uh, and more. So again, be sure if you're putting trash out, steal the container, have a lid on it. Um, again, make sure that it's not easy access for pests. And then what a lot of people also make the mistake of is they don't really properly seal their food or maybe it's in a cupboard and they're like, oh, well, you know, it's in the cupboard, doesn't really matter. And it actually does. You know, pests can get into all kinds of small, tiny places. So you really want to do a thorough wipe down of any countertop space as well as in cupboards and then properly seal those food containers. Because again, if pests have access, they're going to try and get in. So the more that you can clean countertops, um, wash dishes, that's another area where a lot of times people will leave piles of dishes hanging out and again that creates a, an open food source for pests and then also water source where again pests need food, water, and shelter to survive and if you're leaving dishes out a lot of times there's food all over it but then also there's a lot of standing water opportunities which again is basically come on in for pests, right? So if you can focus on those things of keeping your lawn trimmed, again, keeping debris and tree branches, foliage away from your house and not touching it, and then keeping the inside clean. Again, there are a lot of great steps through your cleaning process that can eliminate pests, or again, reduce pest activity in your home. So hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And then if you are a first time customer with us, be sure to head on over to rovepestcontrol.com 
forward slash 50 off and any your information for $50 off your first service with us. So whether you have an existing pest issue, maybe you want to set up uh, a preventative program, a maintenance program to keep your home safe, whatever the case might be, be sure to head on over to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and any your information for that great discount. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.